Okay, so <clears throat> for those of you who are new to Ashtanga, Ashtanga, um, we teach mostly vinyasa at the uh, at Loft Yoga, and Ashtanga is <clears throat> um, vinyasa yoga comes from Ashtanga. So Ashtanga was started in India by a guy named Tommy Joy, and so uh, um, vinyasa comes from that. Ashtanga is the same sequence of postures; it never changes. Um, there's some very traditional things about Ashtanga. So your hands um, are always together. They stay like this, right? Uh, your eyes always stay open. Your gaze is usually your cheeks or the tip of your nose. Um, there's also some odd things in Ashtanga, like there's a lot of lotus and half lotus. I don't even do full lotus much anymore because my knees hurt. Um, I can do half lotus, but there's some like awkwardly odd poses. And so I'm gonna offer modifications as we go. I don't want anyone to hurt themselves. Um, so if there's anything that's uncomfortable to you or to your knees, right? Or anything that I'm cueing, um, then, you know, stop and, and do the modification or just stop and watch. Um, when we do inversions towards the end, I'll offer some modifications there too for anyone who has neck issues or back bones and things like that. So um, there's also a few things in Ashtanga that I intentionally skip because I think they're actually just quite dangerous and I don't do them and I'm not ever going to or teach them. That's just me. Um, a couple of other things in Ashtanga, you have, I don't know, over 60 chaturangas, up dogs, down dogs, right? So that's a lot on the shoulders. Make sure when you're doing your chaturangas that you're looking forward, right? Don't drop your head, it's even more. And if for some reason this starts to bother you, right? Come down on your knees and do your chaturangas or honestly, just skip them all together. So I'll give you some options to skip those. So that's just kind of a little bit of my intro. Um, take a break if you need to. Don't feel obligated to do, you know, what I'm doing, all right? I just, um, um, even if you have to stop and watch. And so you'll find it's very weird because we start right into vinyasas and we end right into vinyasas. So I don't know if it's weird, it's very traditional for Ashtanga. So also we always start and end um, with uh, the chant. Ashtanga has an opening and closing chant. So I'm gonna do the opening chant. I'm gonna do call and response. So I'll call a line of a chant and then I'll call it again and you can do it with me. And if you don't wanna chant, you can just listen to my terrible singing voice and not chant, that's fine too. So let's start. You're gonna start in Sama CT, all right? Feet together, hands together, fingertips together by your side, perfect. This is Sama CT, that's at the front to Asana. You're at the front of your mat, I'm just facing you. Let's bring our hands over our heart center and we'll do call and response. All right. One day, you were dumb, Shara, then day. One day, you were dumb, Shara, then day. Sandra, Shita, Swatma, Supava, Bode. Sandra, Shita, Swatma, Supava, Bode. Nishreya se jangali ayamane. Nishreya se jangali ayamane. Samsara hala hala no hashantiye. Samsara hala hala no hashantiye. Ababu pu shakaram. Ababu pu shakaram. Shamshakakrasi davinam. Shamshakakrasi darinam, Sahasra shirsham shwetam, Sahasra shirsham shwetam, Pranamami patanchali. Oh, Pranamami patanchali. Oh. All right, thank you very much. My Sanskrit somewhat poor, but it's the best I can do. All right, we're gonna start with five sun salutations A, and then we'll do five sun salutations B. Modify, skip the chaturangas up dogs if you're warm. You can just step back into downward facing dog and hold. All right, let's inhale our arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale all the way down to the back. Inhale your heart forward, or with the flat back. Exhale, plant your hands. You can step or hop back, lower halfway down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, flip your toes, sit up and back. 
downward facing dog. Hold in here for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, look forward. Step for hot butt. So your hands at the top of the mat. Inhale your heart forward with the flat back. Exhale, and fold. Inhale your arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, so this is the hands by the side, fingertips together. Inhale it all the way up. Number two. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale your heart forward with the flat back. Exhale, place your hands. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Engage your low belly. Hide your heels behind your ankles. Shoulder blades moving towards your tailbone. Right head drops. Gaze is at the navel if you can, which can be a little bit high of your neck. And if you don't, can't gaze at the navel, we call that Bobby Drissy. Just gaze between your feet. And we're at the cheeks or the tip of the nose. For two and one. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, look forward. Step or hop up to meet your hands at the top of the mat. Inhale your heart forward with the flat back. Exhale and fold. Press into the feet. Inhale your arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, so it's easy. Inhaling all the way up for three. Exhale all the way down. Inhale your heart forward with the flat back. Exhale, plant your hands. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, flip your toes, hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Holding here. I'm going to call most of these poses in English, not in Sanskrit. We're not together. It's much easier. And I get a big step sometimes because, you know, I'm human. Hold in here. For three, for two, and one. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, look forward. Step or hop up to meet your hands at the top of the mat. Inhale your heart forward with a flat back. Exhale and fold. Inhale your arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, side to side. All right. Inhale all the way up. Exhale all the way down. Inhale your heart forward with the flat back. Exhale, get your hands. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold it here for five, for four, for three. For two and one, take a deep inhale, exhale, look forward, step or hop up to meet your hands at the top of the mat. Inhale your heart forward with the flat back. Exhale and fold. Inhale your arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, sign us easy. One more sun salutation, A. Inhale all the way up. Exhale all the way down. Inhale your heart forward. Exhale, plant your hands. Chaturanga Tadasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, get seven back, downward facing dog. Hold in here for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, look forward, step or hop up to meet your hands at the top of the mat. Inhale, your heart forward with a flat back. Exhale, and fold. Inhale your arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, sun sutti. All right, we're going to move in this five sun salutations B. That will get you warmed up. It will be a lot of work. If you're not moving as fast as I am, that's okay. You don't need to because we're all going to be back and down the facing dog anyway. So you'll be fine, right? And so you can take your time. And if you get really tired, skip the last two. Or and just hold the downward facing dog, all right? That's fine. Eventually, we're all going to be in the front of the mat. Okay. So bend your knees, drop your hips, inhale into a chair pose. Gaze is up, fingertips together. Exhale, straighten your legs and fold. Inhale your heart forward with the flat back. Exhale, plant your hips. Step or hop back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot forward, left heel down, come up where you one. All on the inhale. Exhale, hands come down, step back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward. Exhale, downward facing up. Inhale, left foot forward, right heel down, come all the way up on one. Exhale, all the way down, step back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing up. Exhale, 
downward facing dog, and then holding here in your downward facing dog. All right. In Ashtanga, when we're doing our warrior ones, our fingertips are together. You gaze up at your hands and you try to bring your hands together to touch. That's not always traditional necessarily in all forms of yoga. That is traditionally what we do. But if your shoulders don't allow you to do that or you have an issue, don't worry about it. Just don't do that. All right. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, look forward. Step or hop up to meet your hands at the top of the mat. Inhale your heart forward with the flat back. Exhale, and fold. Bend your knees, drop your hips. Inhale into a chair pose. Hands, fingers together. Exhale, stand. So to speak. All right. Four more. Bend your knees, drop your hips. Inhale into a chair pose. Exhale, straighten your legs and fold. Inhale your heart forward with the flat back. Exhale, step or hop back. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot forward. Warrior one, all the way up. Exhale, hands come down, step back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot forward, coming all the way up on warrior one. Exhale, hands come down, all the way back. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Holding here for five for four, for three, for two, and one. Take a deep inhale, exhale, move forward, step or hop up to meet your hands. Inhale your heart forward with a flat back. Exhale and fold, bend your knees, drop your hips. Inhale into a chair pose. Exhale, stay up, so to speak. All right, bend your knees, drop your hips. Inhale into a chair pose. Exhale, straighten your legs and fold. Inhale your heart forward with the flat back. Exhale. Chaturanga Dandasana. Step or hop back. Inhale upward facing dog. Exhale downward facing dog. Inhale right foot forward all the way up. Warrior one. Exhale all the way down. Step back. Chaturanga. Inhale upward. Exhale downward facing dog. Inhale left foot forward all the way up. Warrior one, exhale all the way down, step back and lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right. Hold it here. So a couple of things while we're holding in our downward facing dog. I really, really, really want you to keep your low belly engaged as much as possible throughout this entire practice. When we keep, go through our seated postures and we're jumping forwards and backwards, if you don't keep your belly engaged, it will bother your low back or you will feel it tomorrow. Or don't hop, right? Instead of hopping, step back. That's really important. You'll see when we get there, but just always be aware of your front body, okay? Take a deep inhale. Exhale, look forward. Step or hop up to meet your hands at the top of the mat. Inhale your heart forward with the flat back. Exhale, and fold. Bend your knees, drop your hips. Inhale into a chair pose. Exhale, stand, sun is eating. Two more sun beams. Bend your knees, drop your hips. Inhale into a chair pose. Exhale, straighten your legs and fold. Inhale your heart forward with the flat back. Exhale, chaturanga, dandasana. Inhale upward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot forward, left heel down, all the way up, warrior one. Exhale, all the way down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot forward, right heel down, all the way up. Exhale, all the way down. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Holding in your downward facing dog for five, for four, three, Two, and one. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, look forward. Step or pop up to meet your hands at the top of the mat. Inhale, your heart forward with the flat back. Exhale, and fold. Bend your knees, drop your hips. Inhale into a chair cut. Exhale, stay here. Thomas DT. One more. Bend your knees, drop your hips. Inhale into a chair cut. Exhale, straighten your legs and fold. 
Inhale your heart forward. Exhale, plant your hands. Step or hop back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot forward. Come up, warrior one. Exhale, hands come down. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot forward, right heel down, all the way up, warrior one. Exhale, all the way down, step back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward, exhale, downward facing dog, holding here. For five, for four, for three, two, and one, take a deep inhale, exhale, look forward, step or hop up to meet your hands at the top of the mat. Inhale, your heart forward, put the flat back. Exhale, inner fold. Bend your knees, drop your hips, inhale into a chair pose. Exhale, stand, seven seat. Awesome. All right, you should feel very warmed up. All right, let's take our feet. You're facing the front of the mat, I'm just facing you. You're gonna take your feet hip width apart, put your hands on your hips. You're going to inhale your chest up, engage your low belly and your pelvic floor. Exhale, fold down and release your hands down to the back. Lasso your big toes with your middle finger and your trigger finger. Inhale your heart forward with the flat back. Exhale, pull your upper body down as you send your hips up. Shoulder blades down the back, elbows out, head hanging. Power up, majority of weight in the balls of your feet for five, for four, stretching out those hamstrings. For three, for two, and one. Inhale with a flat back. Exhale, stand on your hands. Your toes are coming all the way to your wrist. All right, Padahashtasana. Inhale with a flat back. Exhale, fold. All right, pull your upper body down. Squeeze your back and your chest to create space in your neck. I don't want you wearing your shoulders for earrings, all right? Keep them nice and loose. Hold in here, power up the legs. A few more breaths, we hold for five. We'll go for three, two, and one. Inhale with the flat back, exhale, release your fingertips to your hips, and then with the flat back, come all the way up to stand. So I'm gonna see at the front of the mat, okay? We're going to take our right leg. We're going to open it up to the back of the room. Take your arms out. We're taking triangle on the right side, right? Stepping out to the back. Lean forward and then take your right hand down and your left arm up. Traditional Anishtanga. Lasso those toes, fingertips together. Gazes up. If you have trouble balancing, look down. Holding here in your triangle for five, for four, for three, for us to finish in 75 minutes, we keep moving, we move pretty quickly. For two and one, all right. You're gonna inhale up, you're gonna parallel your feet, then you're gonna turn your left leg out, and then you're gonna exhale, come down, triangle left side. Last of those big toes, if you can. If you can, just hold it in the air, that's fine. Find your triangle, gazes up, if you can, fingertips together, holding here for five, for four, lean back. Neck is an extension of the spine. Three, two, and one. Now we're gonna twist this. You're gonna inhale up. You're gonna parallel your feet. You're gonna take your right foot to the back. You might step your left foot slightly back. Take your left arm all the way. You're exhaling down. Your left arm can go on the inside or the outside of the right foot. Traditionally, it's on the outside and right arm is up towards the sky. Gaze is up at the right hand. If you can, so this is twisted triangle. Hold it here, low belly's engaged. Try to keep your hips even. For five, for four, for three, pressing into the left hand, twisting it out, low belly's engaged. Two, and one. Now we're gonna come, we're gonna do it on the other side. So you inhale all the way up, turn your feet back, Exhale, all the way down, facing the left leg. Your right hand comes down to the inside or the outside of the left leg, and the left arm comes up towards the sky. Engage your low belly. Hold it here, looking up at that left hand if you can. Think left hip back, right hip forward. Twisted triangle for three, 
Pressing into the right hand for two and one. Now you're going to inhale all the way up. Then you're going to step to the front of the mat, Samasiti. That's like our reset, right? It's like the reset button at the front of the mat, Samasiti. Okay, we're back at the front. We're going to now pick up that right foot, step it all the way back to the back of the mat. This time we're taking side angle pose. You're going to put a bend in the right knee. You're going to lean forward and you're going to put your right hand on the outside of the right. If that's too deep for you, put your right forearm on your right knee. Otherwise, traditionally, it's on the outside of the right side of the foot. Left arm comes up and over. Your gaze is up at the left pinky, left hand. Pinky hand turning and shoulder blades down the back, low belly is engaged. Holding your fingertips together for five. But don't worry if you have your right forearm on your right quad. That's fine. Three, two, and one. Now we're going to switch sides. We're just going to inhale all the way up, straighten the right leg parallel to the feet. Turn the left foot towards the back bend. You exhale all the way down. So left forearm on left quad or all the way down to the outside of the left foot. That's traditional Ashtanga. Right arm up and over. We do it differently in some vinyasa classes and that's fine. I'm just trying to teach you some of the more traditional Ashtanga poses, right? Low belly's engaged, holding here for five, for four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to twist this. You're going to inhale up. You're going to point your feet back to the back. I'm going to uh, offer you a modification, all right? So you'll come up into a crescent pose. You'll bring your hands over your heart center, and then I'll, I'll add it further, right? So you're in a crescent with your hands over your heart center. You turn, left elbow goes on the outside of the right knee. Maybe you stay here. Some of you can spin the back left heel to the mat like you have warrior one legs. Don't feel obligated. Left hand comes down, right arm up and over towards the front top corner of the room. This is your traditional Ashtanga. Otherwise, stay in your twisted crescent. Holding here for five, whichever version you have, for four, for three, for two, and one. You're going to inhale all the way up. We're switching sides. Parallel your feet. Take your left foot to the back. You can start in your crescent pose, right? Twisted crescent, hands over heart center, lean forward, right elbow, left knee. And for those of you who want to take it further, spin the back right heel to the mat. Take the right knee down, take the left arm up and over. Left hip back, right hip forward. Your cheek should be kind of close to your left armpit, gazing up at those left fingertips for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Inhale all the way up, facing the side. Exhale, step to the front of the mat, so i our reset. Okay, now we're gonna do our wide-legged forward fold. You're gonna take your right foot, you're gonna step it to the back. All right, wide leg, outside of the feet parallel, toes slightly pigeon toe. okay? We have four of these, A, B, C, and D. You're gonna try not to let your feet and your legs move. This is how you strengthen your legs by not letting them move. So you're gonna put your hands on your hips to start. You're gonna inhale your chest up, engage your low belly, lift your pelvic floor. Exhale, fold forward down. Release your fingertips to the back, drop your head. Walk your fingertips in line with your toes. And think chaturanga arms, elbows in, and fold. Power up your legs, right? Engage your quads, lift your kneecaps. Micro bend in the knees, you're not hyperextending. Majority of the weight, weight is in the balls of your feet. Hold in here, head and neck is long for five, for four, three, two, and one. Inhale with the flat back, exhale, put your hands on your hips. Inhale with the flat back, come all the way up to stand. Exhale, release your arms. Inhale your arms out. Exhale your hands on your hips. This time they stay on your hips when you go down. You'll inhale your chest up. Exhale, fold forward and drop your head. This time keep your hands on your hips. Elbows like in like you're holding a basketball or a beach ball behind your back. Drop your head, power up your legs for five, for four, 
for three, two, and one. Inhale all the way up with the flat back. Exhale, release your hands. Inhale your arms out, right and left. Exhale, grasp your hands behind your back this time. Inhale your chest up. Exhale and fold with hands behind the back. Try to keep the heels of the hands together. And if you bend your elbows a little bit, that'll help. All right, try not to hyperextend. Holding here for five, for four. Hyperextend your elbows, I mean, for three, for two, and one. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, release your hands. Last one. Inhale, arms out right and left. Exhale, fold. This time you're going to lasso your big toes with your middle finger and your trigger finger. You're going to inhale with your chest up. Exhale, fold. Pull your upper body down as you send your hips up. Holding here, power up your legs. Low bellies engaged for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Inhale with the flat back. Exhale, put your hands on your hips. Inhale with the flat back all the way up. Exhale, step to the top of the back. So it's easy. Perfect. Okay. Now we're going to do pyramid pose facing the back of the room. So you lift this right leg up. You turn and step it to the back of the room and reverse namaste your hands. If you have trouble reverse namaste, I do I have wrist problems. Put your fists together, right? And inhale your chest up. Both of your legs are nice and straight. Exhale, fold forward over that right leg. Drop your head to the knee. Press it evenly between the feet. Low bellies engaged. Hold it here for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Inhale all the way up. Keep your arms where they are. Reverse your feet. Left foot to the front of your mat. Exhale, fold forward over that left leg. Power up the legs, holding here. All right, for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, release. Step to the front of the mat. Sama CT, that's our reset button. Okay, let's move into balancing poses. All right. <clears throat> I'm not mirroring you guys because it's always right, left, right, left. And so I'm going to do my right, you're going to do your right. Okay, but I'm going to face you. You're going to put your left hand on your hip. You're going to bring the weight into your left foot. You're going to take your right arm out and you're going to lift the right leg and you're either going to grab the right toe or grab the right knee. Keep it straight or bent, whatever works for you. You're going to inhale your chest up. You're going to exhale. Fold forward over that leg or knee, low bellies engaged, elbows in, holding here. This is hand to foot pose A for five, for four, or hand to toe pose. Three, two, and one. Inhale your chest up, exhale, take the right leg out or the right knee out to the right and gazes to the left, holding here. For five, this is B, for four, for three, two, and one. Inhale back to the front. Exhale, fold. Inhale up. Exhale, release the right leg. Point the foot or bend the knee. Holding here for C. For five, for four, for three, two, and one. Release and down. Working out that right hip flexor. Okay. Hands on the hips. We're going to bring the weight into the right foot. You're going to take the left hand out. You're going to bring the left foot up to the left hand or the knee. Grab that big toe, right? Inhale your chest up. Once you find the balance, exhale. Fold forward towards that left knee. Elbow in. Hold in here for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Inhale up, exhale, left leg out to the left, gazes to the right, holding here for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Left leg back to the center, take a deep inhale. Exhale, fold over that left leg, 
Inhale, back up, exhale, release the left leg, point the foot, hands on the hips, or the knee is bent, that's fine, for five, for four, for three, two, and one, and step down. That's all core and hip flexor work, good job. Also in Ashtanga, when our hands together like this, most of the time our toes are also always pointed. Sometimes in other types of yoga, you flex in Ashtanga, we're mostly pointed, just FYI. Okay, now we're gonna do half bound lotus. If you have knee problems, or you don't do half bound lotus, I want you to take tree pose, okay? So, plant your left foot, you're gonna bring your right knee up. Some of you are gonna put it into tree and you're gonna hold here until I tell you to step out and work on this balance. Some of you can take this right foot, bring it all the way up, up um, heel to your belly button, and send this right knee down in half lotus. All right, your tree pose for stay here. Inhale your right arm all the way around your body, grab the right foot with the right hand, and then fold over the left leg. Bring the right knee towards the left. Walk the left fingertips back and line with the left foot. Drop your head. Your left hand is like another leg. Hold in here. Drop your head. For five, for four, for three, two, and one. Inhale with a flat back. Exhale, put a little bend in the left knee. Inhale all the way up to stand. Exhale, release your lotus leg or your tree and step and shake it out if you need to, all right? All right, opposite side. So bring the weight in the right hand, bring the left knee up, put the left foot into tree, or put the left foot in half lotus. If you're taking tree, please do not put your foot on your knee. Put it above or below your knee. I should have said that on the other side, but normally we don't take tree here, but that's okay. Left leg in lotus, inhale your left arm all the way around the body, grab the left foot if you can, and then fold over the right leg. You want your left knee coming in towards the right. It will make it easier. And then take the right hand down and fingertips in line with the right foot. Drop your head. Holding here. Use that right hand as another leg. For five, for four, for three, two, and one. Inhale with the flat back. Engage the low belly. Put a little bend in the right knee. Exhale, come all the way up. And whether you're a tree or a lotus, step out and shake it out, okay? Now, we're going to flow and move into chair pose. So you're at the front of the mat, some is all right? You're gonna inhale your arms all the way up. Exhale all the way down to the mat. Inhale your heart forward with the flat back. Exhale, point your hands, step or hop back. Chaturanga Dhanasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, get up and back, down with facing dog. All right, take a deep inhale. Exhale, look forward. You're gonna jump to chair pose, Utkasana. All right, so your feet and heels are gonna be together. You're gonna bend your knees. This time we're gonna hold it. Drop your hips, arms up. So, shoulder blades down the back. If you can, gaze up, fingertips together, hands together. Holding here for five, for four, for three, for two, and one. Now, you're gonna bring your hands down to the mat. You're gonna come up on the balls, put your knees on the backs of the triceps and the core. You're gonna stay here, or some of you, you might just stay here, are gonna look forward, and you're gonna come up into crow pose. All right, if you come up into crow pose, right, I want you to bring your toes and your heels together. Low bellies engaged, look forward, don't drop your head. For five, otherwise, just hold with your toes down. For four, for three, two, and one. You step or hop back into Chaturanga. I'm stepping back. My shoulders don't do the hop anymore, right? I'm 45 years old. It's a little too much. Hold, come down into Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, so we're all needing a downward facing dog. You might be like, that's a lot, but that's okay. You're almost through with standing. We're gonna move into warrior one and hold, right? So you're gonna put your right foot forward, left heel down, and we're coming up into warrior one. All right, in your warrior one, your gaze is up, your fingertips are together. Your gaze is up if you can. If you have trouble balancing, look down. We have some people who have vertigo problems with down. Don't look up, it's fine. All right, otherwise, you gaze up, fingertips together, hands together, low bellies engaged, right hip back, left hip forward, holding here for five, in your 
Warrior one for four, for three, for two. Listen carefully. If you can, you're going to keep your gaze up at your hands. You're going to straighten that right leg, always looking up. You're going to parallel your feet, and then you're going to turn your left foot to the back of the mat, and you'll come to warrior one, facing the back of the mat, right? Always looking up. It's a lot for five. If you can't, just look down. Turn around, warrior one, left side, left leg. For four, for three, for two, and one. We're going to open up warrior two. You're going to take your left arm forward. You're going to take your right arm back. You'll open your hips up. Finding warrior two. Fingertips together. Gaze over the left hand. For five, for four, for three, two, and one. Straighten your left leg. Parallel your feet. Keep your arms where they are. Right foot to the front. Warrior two. Facing the front of the mat. For five, warrior two, for four, for three, for two, and one. Take a deep inhale. We're going to flow it up. Bend your hands down to frame the right foot. Step the right foot back to meet the left. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Congratulations. You just made it through your standing sequence. We're now moving into seated. Okay, so for those of you who are new to this, this is where we start going in and out of our, between our hands, okay? So you can look forward. Some of you can hop through to sit. If you're not hopping through, you're gonna walk your feet up and cross your ankles. You're gonna come to sit on your butt, okay? And then you're gonna take your legs straight out for this first one. This is called Dandasana Staff Pose. You're gonna plant your hands on either side of your hips. Engage the low belly. This time you are going to flex your feet. Everywhere else we point. Chin to chest. Come down. This is done out some staff pose. Hold in here. Chin to chest. Gaze this tip of the nose or cheeks. Tip of the nose or cheeks. For five. For four. For three. Two. And one. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Now we're going to fold forward over our legs. If your hands don't touch your feet. Put them on either side, all right? That's fine. Otherwise, lasso your big toes and pull your upper body down. Gaze is nose to tip of the nose or cheeks. Some of you can gaze forward. Some of you will look slightly down. What I mean gaze is depending on how far forward you fold, you want your spine to be an extension. I mean, your neck to be an extension of your spine. Holding here for five, for four, for three, elbows in, shoulder blades down the back, two, and one. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, take your hands on the outside of your feet. This is B. And if you're not touching your feet, just keep your hands here. This is D. It's fine. For five, for four, three, two, and one. Inhale up. This is where we start doing those hopping back and forth. Exhale. Come up. Okay. So some of you can hop back. Some of you are going to step. I'm going to show the easier step version and then I'll start hopping and you'll have your options. You're going to bring your legs up. You're going to cross. You're going to come over your feet. You're going to plant your hands. You can step back. Do chaturanga or knees down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We have a lot of those, so conserve your energy or skip some of them. Okay. So take a deep inhale. Exhale the forward so you can walk through to your hands. I'm going to start hopping. I'm going to cross my ankles and I'm going to hop through to sit. Okay, so you've got options there. And one more thing when we start hopping between sides, you can always just hold the dandasana and skip it, right? And keep yourself nice and warm. We're now going to do reverse plank. Plant your hands behind you. Okay, you can come into reverse tabletop or reverse plank. Reverse plank is traditional. Feet together. Inhale up, straighten out your legs, toes together, heels out, drop your head back. If this is too much, bend your knees and come into reverse tabletop. We're holding here for five, drop your head back if you can. For four, for three, two, and one. Take a deep inhale, exhale, come down. Now, cross your ankles if you want. We're holding the pass and hop back. Into chaturanga or step back. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, 
Hips up and back, downward facing dog. All right, take a deep inhale. Exhale, look forward, step or hop up between your hands. I'm gonna start facing you. We're gonna move it into right or left. All right, bring your right leg in. You're gonna half lotus the right leg, and if that's too much, find tree with the right leg. Otherwise, find the half lotus. We're doing the seated version of what we did standing. You're gonna take your right arm all the way out, inhale all the way around. You're gonna grab your right foot with your right hand. Take a deep inhale, exhale, fold forward over the left leg. So if this is too much, true your pose on the right leg. Hold in here for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Inhale up, exhale, cross your legs, step or hop back into chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, Downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale, exhale, look forward, step or hop up between your hands. So remember, you have options. You can skip, you can hold. All right, left foot, half lotus or tree pose, right? This is half lotus with forward fold. Seated half lotus forward fold. You take your left arm, inhale all the way around, grab your left foot, left knee in towards the right, and then exhale, fold forward, grab that right leg. Drizzy is cheeks or tip of the nose, right? Making sure that your head is an extension of the spine. Wherever you are, if you're folding a tree, that's fine. For five, for four, for three, two, and one. Inhale up and remember, you can skip the vinyasa, all right? This is where we do that flow. You can hold here in Dhanurasana or cross your ankles, step or hop back, chatter on that. Inhale, upward, exhale, downward. We got a lot of these, so just preserve your energy. Take a deep inhale, exhale, look forward, step or hop through between your hands to sit. All right, this time, we're gonna take our right heel back to our right hip, like cat hero, pose here, okay? Put your left hip on a block if you need it, okay? Take a deep inhale, exhale, fold forward over the left leg, right? So the right leg is in half hero, and the left leg is down. The triangle, something, 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 right? Hold me here for five, for four, folding over that left leg for three, two, and one. Inhale up with the flat back. Exhale. Ask yourself, do I want a vinyasa, right? Step or hop back, or do I just hold in dhanasana, right? You can step, you can hop. Do a flow, skip it. Don't do it if you're too tired. Take a deep inhale, exhale, look forward, pop. You'll notice I'll, I'll start to fade. It's part of life, right? Left leg back towards left hip, right? So find half hero on this side, prop up the right hip if you need it. And then inhale your chest up. Once you're set, exhale, fold forward over that right leg. Holding here for five. Try to keep that left hip sealed to the ground for four, for three, two, and one. Inhale up, exhale, release. And now, once again, cross, right? Come up, pop back, chaturanga. Inhale upward, exhale, downward facing up. All right, take a deep inhale, exhale, look forward, cross all the way through, okay? Now, we're gonna take Janus Rishasana, our head to knee pose. So, it's like tree pose in your legs. This time, you really are taking tree pose in your legs, all right? Right angle behind the right and left knee, right foot to the inside of the left. Inhale your chest up. We have three of these, this is A. Exhale, fold forward over the left leg. All right, try to keep the right hip sealed to the ground, stretching over the left leg, holding here for five, for four, for three, <clears throat> two, and one. Inhale up, exhale, do a vinyasa, or hold in dandasana if you want, all right? You can upward and downward, ask yourself what you wanna do. Don't feel obligated, take a deep inhale, exhale, step or hop up between your hands. Now we're gonna do it on the left side. You're gonna bring the left foot to the inside of the right leg, so tree pose, again, on the left side. 
traditional strong weights would be killing me right now. It's fine. I don't care. And then inhale up, exhale, pull forward over the right leg. So one more thing I was going to tell you while we're folding over this right leg is that between sides, if you don't want a vinyasa or you only want a vinyasa every other time, you can hold in dandasana. You can also hold in boat cutter. So I'll do that on that, this next time just to show you, which is navasana. So hold in here for three, for two, and one. Inhale up, exhale, come out. You can cross and do a vinyasa. Some of you, if you want to stay heated, you could come into boat pose and just hold here. This is navasana or boat bent knee or straight. So everybody else is vinyasa right now. We're all holding a boat, right? Take a deep inhale, exhale, step or hop through between your hands, whatever you're doing, and then bring your legs down, right? So you have a boat pose and that will also help keep you warm. So you can choose your option. All right, now we're taking Janu Shrasana B, right? So this was our tree pose and you can take this again, Janu Shrasana A. B is you come up, and you sit on your heel with this right knee out to the side. So your heel is basically in your butt. I don't know what else to say. All right. Inhale your chest up. Exhale, fold forward over the left leg. And if this is like super uncomfortable, take the tree pose, the A version. This is the B version. For five, <clears throat> for four, for three, two, and one, inhale up, exhale, slow, dandasana or boat pose, navasana, right? Step back, hop back, do a flow if you want, or just wait. Take a deep inhale, exhale, look forward, step or hop up between your hands, because we're always going to switch sides. You can even start preparing to switch sides. You're going to bring your left foot in, right? Tree pose, A, or come up to sit on your heel. Take a deep inhale, exhale, fold forward over the right leg. So you're sitting on your heel, right? On the left, on the left side. Hold in here <clears throat> for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Inhale up, exhale, release, do a flow, skip a flow, a boat pose, a dandasana, chaturanga. Up dog and down dog. All right. Take a deep inhale with your down dog. Exhale, look forward, step or hop up between your hands. All right. Now we're doing the last one. C. This is called toe pressure posture. You bring the right foot in. You put the ball of the right foot down the toes and you send your right heel up. If this is weird on your knee, take A or B, right? Take the other previous two. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, fold forward over the left leg. This is Janu Shrasana C, all right? Holding here. Pick a version, it's fine. If you're not doing this one, it's fine. For four, for three, for two, and one. Inhale up, exhale, release. Ask yourself, do you want to flow? Do you want to hold, right? You can do a chaturanga, up dog and down dog. You can hold for us in the Vasana or Grandasana. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, look forward. Step or hop up through between your hands to sit. Bring the left leg in, toe pressure posture, or C, right? Left toes down, left heel up, left knee down. Eventually, your left knee touches the ground. My hips are not possible yet. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, fold forward over the right leg. Hold in here, right? Four, five. For four, for three, two, and one. Inhale up, exhale, release, cross your ankles, step or hop back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Nice. All right, four more seated posture. Take a deep inhale, exhale, look forward. First step between your hands. Okay, Marichiasas. This time, you're going to bring your right foot in. You're going to have some space between your right and left leg right here. All right, I'm going to turn around so you can see me from the back. You're going to inhale your right arm to the inside of the right leg, and then you're going to see if you can reach around and bind behind your back and drop your head. If you can't bind, just put your hands back besides you on the right and left. Otherwise, bind behind your back, holding here, drop your head. 
Put the right hip on the ground if you can for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Inhale up, exhale, release, cross, step, hop back, chaturanga if you want, or hold for us, for us in Dandasana, right or Navasana. Take a deep inhale, exhale, look forward, step or hop up through between your hands. We're going to do that on the opposite side. This time I'm going to stay facing you. You're going to bring your left foot in. Make sure you have a little space here. You're going to reach your left arm to the inside of the left leg, and then you're going to reach around the left leg and reach the right arm around and try to bind behind your back. Don't worry if you just do that. It's fine. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, pull forward over the right leg. Keep your neck as an extension of your spine. However far forward for, for, for you fall. Gaze is cheeks or tip of the nose. Eyes are still open. We don't close our eyes in Shaka. It's just something, I don't know, something that I want to do. Holding here for three. Sometimes people in other vinyasas close their eyes. It's fine, whatever. For two and one. I'm teaching you the traditional and then I'm teaching you all the rules to break. Exhale, release. All right, we're going to cross. You're going to do a flow. You're going to skip it. You're going to be back seated, whatever you want to do. All right, you're going to look forward and you're going to step or hop up through between your hands. Okay, here's where it starts getting super weird, I think, right? You're going to bring your left foot in. You can keep your left foot in tree. If you can do, and it's the left leg, not the right, the left leg will be in half lotus, okay? If you can't go in half lotus, do tree. This gets weird. You're going to bring your right knee up in Marichyasana, right? So this is the same pose you did before, but the left leg was straight. Now the left leg is in half lotus with the right knee up, and we're doing the same thing. It's fine if the left foot is like the left knee is on a tree. You're going to reach to the inside of the right leg. You're going to reach around and try to bind behind the hip. So it's the same pose we did before, but then the left leg is in half lotus instead of straight. All right, but it's harder. I know. So drop your head if you can towards your knee. Hold in here. For five, like I said, don't feel obligated, it gets weird. For four, for three, for two, and one. Inhale up, exhale, release. I typically shake my feet out because my ankles hurt when I do that. Not bad, but they hurt. And then go ahead and do your flow. I'm gonna step back instead of hop back. Preserve my energy. Inhale upward, exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale, exhale, look forward, step or hop up through between your hands. Okay, same pose, opposite side. This time, right foot in tree, okay, or right foot in half lotus. I don't care which one you do, keep your knee steady. That's the most important thing. Left knee comes up, that's your like Marichiyasana leg, all right? Your right knee is forward if it's in half lotus, or mine is because that's how my hips move, right? And you're gonna lean forward around the left leg, and then you're gonna work to bind behind the left hip. All right, maybe you drop your head down. Okay, these are very deep hip stretches here. All right, holding here for five. Marichiyasana, this is B. For four, for three, two, and one. Come up, and the reason I'm saying Sanskrit because the English pose is like pose of Marichi. So whatever, all right, that's the English version. All right, step or hop back, chaturanga, inhale upward, exhale, downward piece and down. Okay, step or hop through. Now we have twisting, we're doing D. Okay, so good news, you don't have to do a half lotus again yet. You're gonna bring your right knee in, okay? And then you're gonna turn and you're gonna take your left elbow over your right knee and take the right hand behind you. And this may be it. Some of you can wiggle around, bring your left arm all the way around, grab your right hand and bind. If you bind, try to sit up all the way up, look back either way over the right. Try to stack your head over this one, right? It's hard for me to do this, I have tight shoulders, right? So binding behind or twisting for five, twisting over the right for four, for three, two, and one. Take deep inhale. Exhale, look forward and release. We're going to do our flow or you're going to hold, right? Chaturanga, upward and downward facing dog. 
Hopping, you're gonna sit back in, and then we're gonna twist on the other side. This time, you bring your left foot in. All right, left foot in, take the right arm over the left leg. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle if you need into that armpit, and then wiggle that right hand around, left hand, or just find the twist. Whichever version you did on the other side, try to do it again, and maybe it doesn't work on both sides of that. All right, chest up, gaze up, over, try to stack. Your head over your spine. It is hard, as I indicated, for me to do that because of my shoulders. It's fine. I do my best. That's all we can ask for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, look forward, release, and do your flow. Okay? Step or hop back or hold in the bottom, whatever you want to do. Downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale, exhale, look forward, step or hop up between your hands, okay? This is like the hardest pose other than these advanced poses that I'm going to skip that's the full primer because we're doing the half. All right, you're going to bring your left foot in to lotus or to tree, right? So if you're not doing lotus, have fun. Your left foot's going to go in the lotus, okay? All the way up. Now you're going to bring your right knee up, okay? So this is very similar to B. We were here earlier. Unfortunately, I shouldn't say that, but anyway, now we're going to twist this and it does become hard when you twist, okay? So you take your left arm up and over towards the right knee. Maybe some of you can wiggle, wiggle, wiggle this left elbow and this left right knee into your left armpit, if you do. And then you wiggle this left arm all the way over that knee. Maybe your right hand finds you behind, if not, just find the twist. All right, so your left leg is in half lotus, your right leg is in reach yasana, and then you're working to twist around and find the bind. Try to look back, head up, stack over shoulders, which is hard for me, holding here for five, for four, whatever version you have is the version you're supposed to be in. Don't hurt yourself. Three, two, and one. Release, shake it out. It took me a couple of years to figure out how to do that, so. Don't judge yourself. And I'm still, bleh. okay. Step or not back, chatter on, but we're almost there, you guys. You got one? This is it. This is our last one, right? Reach out to the D on the other side. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, look forward. Step or hop up. Three between your hands. Okay. Right leg in tree. Right leg in half lows. All right. Left knee is in. Okay. And then, we're in Marichi Asana, we're twisting. So you take your left arm up and over. Maybe you just grab and you're just twisting behind. Okay, some of you wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. That left, I docked my glasses on. All right, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle that right arm all the way around. That left knee, bind on the opposite. Come to sit up as tall as you can and look back over the left shoulder. Holding here, Marichi Asana D. All right, for five, for four. For three, two, and one. Take deep inhale, exhale, look forward, and release. Oh my gosh. Maybe through seedless. Okay, well, kind of in the home stretch, you guys. We don't have much time. We're good. We're in the home stretch. All right. Jadaranga, up dog, down dog. Are you ready? We now have our boat poses. So I'm moving my mat. We're going to jump through from down dog into the basal. So take a deep inhale, exhale, look forward, step or hop through to Navasana, right? That's boat pose. Feet up, arms forward, and your knees can be bent or straight. Chest up, low bellies, engage fingertips together. Holding here in Navasana for five, for four, we have five of these. Three, two, and one. Cross your ankles, hands in, look up, press up, Navasana, and down, Navasana. Holding here for five, for four, for three, Two and one, cross the opposite ankle, look up, press up, sit down, come up. Holding here for five, this is the third, for four, for three, two and one. Cross your ankles, plant your hands, press up, sit down, Navasana. Holding here for five, for four, for three, for two and one. Cross your ankles, lift up. Malasana, sit down. Navasana, holding here. This is it for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Cross your ankles, press into your hands, 
Step or pop back. Chaturanga, I'm stepping back. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Or just stay on your butt because we're coming back through. We're going to go to lay down on our backs. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, look forward. Step or hop through. Lay down on your backs. We have back bends. Okay, bridge or wheel. Traditional is a wheel. If you don't have a wheel, practice, take a bridge. I am going to walk you through a wheel. Okay, so feet in, hands up. Reverse your hands. Don't let your heels and toes move, okay? Take a deep inhale and exhale. Inhale, press in your hands, lift all the way up into the wheel. Holding here. We've got five of these and we're gonna tap and come up. So five for four, three, two, to keep your neck safe and one, come to the back, tap get the back of your shoulders on the ground and then press back up into wheel or bridge for five, for four, for three, for two, and one. Chin to chest, tap the back of the shoulders on the ground, press up into wheel for five, for four, for three, for two, and one. Chin to chest, tap the back of the shoulders, press back up into wheel or bridge for five, for four, for three, two, chin to chest, tap your shoulders, and one. Come all the way back up, press up, last wheel for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Chin to chest, come down, windshield wiper your knees. Don't come up yet in forward fold. Done. Traditionally in Ashtanga, you come straight up in a forward fold. It's dangerous for your back. It's number one yoga injury in Ashtanga, especially forward folding after back bending, okay? So let's just take a little breath. All right. Give yourself, you know, 15, 30 seconds, and then let's come all the way up, okay? Into seated, and then take a deep inhale, exhale, fold, all right? If you can't grab your feet, just take your hands, put them on either side of your legs, holding here. All right, and a forward fold. Inhaling and exhaling. Breathing. Inhaling and exhaling. All right. Typically, we have ten. Five. I'll go for five. For four. Three. Two and one. Inhale up. Exhale across. Do a flow. All right. Step or hop back. Chaturanga. Inhale upward. Exhale downward facing dog. All right. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Look forward. Jump through and lay down on your backs. Okay. We are now going to move into shoulder stand. If you do not have a shoulder stand practice, all I want you to do is just keep your legs up just like this. This is called waterfall. Or you can put them on the wall. You can put your hips on a block, okay? If you do not have a shoulder stand practice, don't do this. If you do have a shoulder stand practice, everybody, let's meet in shoulder stand, right? So you bring your feet up over your head. You walk your shoulders under your body. You plant your hands on the low back. And then you take your legs up straight up towards the sky, all right? And point your feet. Now, tilt your chin up. I don't want the back of your neck smashed to the ground. I want you to have an arch in the back of your neck. And I want your feet stacked over your hips, stacked over your shoulders. Toes are pointed, toes and heels out. Chin up. So the weight is on the back of your shoulders, not squishing the back of the neck. You hold here for 10 breaths. We've been here for five. So I'm gonna hold for five, for four, for three, two, and one, if you're in waterfall, just stay in waterfall. If you're in shoulder stand, take your hand, feet over your head, legs straight, toenail polish, toenails on the ground, grab your hands behind your back, holding here. Straight legs for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Bend your knees, put them around your ears, holding here for five, for four. If you're in waterfall, enjoy it for three, for two, and one. Bring your legs up. Put them in lotus pose. I am not going to put mine in lotus. I'm just going to cross my legs 
because lotus hurts my knees, okay? You're gonna put them up in lotus. They're parallel to you. Some of you can take your hands and put them on your thighs, right? Both hands on your thighs, you're balancing on your shoulders and lotus legs for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Now, bring your lotus legs in towards your chest and then see if you can grasp around your legs. You're on your shoulders. This is more weird, more weird to show you. For five, for four, you're like a little bitty ball. This is called embryo pose. For three, for two, and one. Slowly come down. Keep your lotus legs or legs crossed if you can. Bring your legs into lotus or crossed. Come up onto your elbows and then drop your head back. This is fish pose, right? But your legs are in lotus. If your legs are full lotus, maybe you grab your toes with your hands, right? So your right hand grabs your left foot and your left hand grabs your right. Otherwise, you can keep them here behind you. Hold them here in Matsyasana, fish pose. Top of the head down, chest up for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Keep your head and your butt where they are. Extend your arms out straight and your legs out straight. Holding here for 10. It's a lot for nine, if not holding fish toes. For eight, for seven, six, five. Toes are pointed, low bellies engaged. Four, three, two, and one. Knees, chest. Ooh, give them a squeeze. All right, let's come up, flow it out. We're fine on time. I know we have eight minutes left, but we'll make it. We'll be fine. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, hips up and back. Downward facing dog, knees to the mat. We now have headstand. If you do not have a headstand practice, I want you to take dolphin pose. Dolphin pose is downward facing dog with your forearms on the ground. This is dolphin pose, right? So your head is not touching the ground. It's still an inversion. You get all the benefits without any of the head stress, okay? So this is your dolphin. You can stay here because we have 25 breaths. You can catch your lot in 25 breaths. If you have a traditional headstand practice, I want you to find it. So traditional headstand, your arms and elbows are together, use your wall. If you need it, you put your elbows in. They're right under your shoulders. You put the crown of the head right on the inside of your hands. Walk your feet in. Do not hop in the headstand. Walk them in, and maybe your legs come up straight if you can. I want your legs to stack all the way up. So if you're in dolphin, just hold the dolphin. You don't need to be coming up in the forearm stand unless you want to. If you're in traditional headstand, toes pointed, everything stacked. We're going to hold here in headstand for 10, for 9. Hold in your dolphin if you can, if you need to come down. That's fine. 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Now, if you're a dolphin, stay a dolphin. If you're a head stand, try to bring your head legs halfway down, right? This is Arda. So you're tossing head, Arda head stand, half head stand. Legs are straight. It's like Dandasana upside down. For five, for four, no bellies engaged. Three, two, and one. Legs come straight back up into full head stand again. If you're a dolphin, hold a dolphin for 10. Straight head stand, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. With straight legs, if you can, slowly bring your legs down. Toenail polish on the ground. If you're a dolphin, bring your knees down. Everybody take a child's pose, head down. Butt to feet, arms to the outside of the heels. Arms back, child's pose. Enjoy it. We're almost there. Holding the child's pose. Take a deep inhale, exhale, come up. All right, we're gonna come through to sit on our butts. 
Traditionally, you take another flow, but you don't have to, right? You can take chaturanga, up dog, down dog. You're gonna jump through to sit. Okay, put your legs in lotus. If you're comfortable in lotus, I'm not doing it today as I've indicated. So I'm in acceptance of that. All right, so whatever version you have your legs in, you're gonna take your arms behind your back. Some of you, if you're in lotus, your feet, your hands grab your feet. You're gonna inhale your chest up. Exhale, just fold forward. Hold in here for 10, for nine, for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale up, exhale, keep your legs in lotus or cross. Take your hands out, right or left. Touch your uh, thumb and your forefinger, arms out straight, chin to chest, gaze, tip of the nose or drizzy, cheeks, tip of the nose, holding here for five, for four, for three, two, I'm gonna count back up in one, one, two, three, four, and five. All of these ending your 10 breaths. Okay, now we're gonna lift up. So. One more thing to do, right? So you're gonna plant your hands on the ground. Your, your legs are in lotus or they're crossed. You're gonna press, you're gonna lift your feet up and you're gonna hold for 10. I'll count fast, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna do one more vinyasa, meet it standing. So however you wanna get back, step back, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Jump your feet up to meet your hands. All right, inhale your arms all the way up. Exhale, hands over heart center. All right, we're gonna end on with our closing chant and then go into Shavasana, call and response, just like we did at the beginning. All right. Prasti Prajapya, Prasti Prajapya, Pari Paliantam, Pari Paliantam, Ya ya ne ga mar ne ga Ya ya ne ga mar ne ga Mahi mahi shaha Mahi mahi shaha Go Brahma Baya Go Brahma Baya Shubha Mashu Nityam Shubha Mashu Nityam Loka Samasta Loka Samasta Suki no babam tu, suki no babam tu. Om shanti shanti shanti. Om shanti shanti shanti. Om. Om. And then you're going to inhale your arms all the way up. Exhale all the way down. Inhale your heart forward with the flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step your hot back, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale upward, exhale, downward facing up. Take a deep inhale, exhale, look forward, step or hop through to lay down on your backs. Shavasana. Oh, you've worked very hard. I would like, if you can, to stay in your Shavasana for a couple of minutes. If you need to get up and leave, go ahead and get up and leave. We are right at 75 minutes, so it's up to you. We have a 75 minute class. I am gonna stay here with you for a couple more minutes and then I will end class and um, undo the thing. So do whatever you need to do, but if you can stay with me for a couple of more minutes, I um, would love to commune with you after class. So find your place of rest just for a few minutes.
moving on. Start to take some deeper inhales and exhales. Gently breathing in and out of your nose. Maybe begin to stretch your arms out overhead, your feet towards the front of the room. And then bring your knees into your chest if you're ready to get up. Don't feel obligated. If you want to stay in Shavasana, you can. Otherwise, bringing them in. And then gently and slowly, either through your right or left side, make your way up to a big comfortable seat, sitting nice and tall. Please bring your hands over your heart center. The light, the love, the joy, the peace and happiness in me. Salutes and honors the light, the love, the joy, the peace and happiness in all of you. Thank you so much for getting up so early with me and sharing this practice with me. It is an honor to be able to virtually do this with everybody and enjoy the sense of community. Please bring your hands to your forehead. Namaste.